our main feature today on EA TV. Two great clubs. It's coming up for you live. Great evening here in the Santiago Bernabeu Stadium. Martin Tyler here, Alan Smith sitting alongside me. Our football comes from La Liga, and the match starts very shortly. It's Real Madrid, and they take on Real Sociedad. I think if we get a nice, sharp, quick tempo to begin with, we're in for a real treat here because we've got a couple of entertaining sides that love to go forward. Real Madrid. Their whole history really based on attractive football and goal scoring, and this side isn't disappointing in that respect. They are the entertainers in this division. They've been really good, really potent in front of goal. They have won so many trophies, Real Madrid, and of course, in terms of the Champions League, they've been setting new standards as well in more recent times. It's a great part of the tour here, actually, if you get the chance ever to go into the Real Madrid trophy room. Fantastic array of football paraphernalia and memorabilia. Yeah, it's not a place you can zip round in 10 minutes. You have to set aside a good half a day. I mean, it's some spectacle. You've never seen so much silverware in one place. First half started by Real Madrid. Taking on a couple of opponents now. Pass treaded through. Hazard! And it's in! And it's a goal! And it's Real Madrid who scored! Well, a goal for Real Madrid. It's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Well, let's take another look at the goal. Real Madrid have the lead. Hazard, able to make the interception. Oh, nowhere near. No, he's miscued that one, miscued it badly. Eden Hazard, Mbappe, Mbappe. Modric, Valverde, Hazard, Mbappe! Oh, fantastic goal! Goalkeeper's done well to actually get something on that. Didn't think he was going to get a touch. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. 
Oh, he's loving it. The manager, he's seeing his team playing really well, just what he was asking for. Restarting at 2-0. Now Martin Odegaard. Can really get at the opposition here. Well, he's gone in a bit on the wild side. It's going to be a card. It's going to be a yellow card. Well, that's the least surprising thing I've seen out there today so far. Well, you run the risk when you go to ground like that with a slide tackle of getting into serious trouble. All right, it's a definite foul, Martin. It's a slide tackle, but he just mistimed it badly. Now Nacho, here's Isco. Marcelo, it's Isco. Carvajal. Modric, Eden Hazard. Impressive, in possession, passing's good, possibly dangerous. Well, that was disappointing. They could have made more of it. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Set up to play. He's one on one with the goalkeeper. And really, that's a goal for Real Madrid. You can't be too critical of the keeper, but he just needed some help from his defenders there. Good luck here again by the replay of the goal. Well, it's great when the plan comes together and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. Well, this is the sort of football you associate with Real Madrid. They've got the ball back by that interception. The hosts had... More than enough of the ball today, and we've been treated to some really good football because with that possession, they've created a lot of chances and made life awfully difficult for the opposition. Deserved leaders so far. Ilyara Mendy. Didn't want it to stop, did they? And the referees uh, got the sympathy of this match, I think. He understands it. They're playing on. Referee has blown, and he's given the free kick. <laughs> Only partially away from danger. Here's Isco. Well, suddenly they could be on the counter-attack. He's through. They can't stop him. Swift, decisive, but not in the end deadly. No, so much pace, cutting edge, just lacking there. Yara Mendy. Stopping the pass getting through with incisive from Isco. One on one with the keeper. And he scored! the pass here, he hardly had to break stride and he finished it emphatically another angle on it here well I know this manager's been working hard on the training ground on a certain shape and boy is it getting results out there
It's turning out to be an embarrassing scoreline, really, as we're underway again. Odegaard. Chance to check in with Alan McAnally. A goal he can tell us about in the Villarreal game. It's a goal for Villarreal. 42 minutes played. 1-0. Thanks, Alan. Well, we'll follow that with interest. Probing away, working away at the opposition with these passes. Now Martin Odegaard. Iliara Mendy. Calm piece of defending. No. 45 minutes gone, half time. Well, as you can see from the scoreline as we start the second half, there might not be too much of a contest left in this game. Iliara Mendy. Now he's got the ball. What's he going to do with it? Good vision here. Azar. Time to set himself here. Maybe a chance. Goalkeeper can only harry it out. Chance after chance after chance. It's been textbook by this team and by some of those midfielders in particular. Good vision here. He's aimed for the far post here. So the corner to come. Well, this is the time where the managers really earn their money. It's going to be an alteration to try and improve the team. Corner's taken, and they get it away. And Real Sociedad's next game, Alan? Yeah, they're playing Eibar in their next match in La Liga. So much at stake, and I think it will be tense and tight. Nacho Fernandez. It's become a rather defensive policy here with a team that's camped really in its own half at the moment, and that does let the opposition have free possession. They can really come at you, it's risky. That's an easy cut-out for the opposition, saw the pass coming. The referee had a good look at that, decided it's just a throw after the tackle. Hugo Mayo. Now Marino. It's given away. We've had an hour gone here, and still 30 minutes left. It was a foul, but the referees have seen the situation that he can play on. Good work from him. Mikel Marino. Read the play well to intercept. Isco with good vision here. Brilliant goal! A well-crafted goal, this. Lovely vision to find the pass, and what a tidy finish. You can see a slightly different viewpoint on it. Well, it's great when the plan comes together, and the manager doubly delighted with the way his team are playing. player top performance today from him right on his game he's being substituted now and the crowd have loved watching his performance yeah it's just all gone right doesn't happen all the time but one of those days where he didn't really put a foot wrong it's turning out to be an embarrassing scoreline really as we're underway again now Marino Iliara Mendy The forward could be played in, it was a lovely pass. Looking to attack the cross in numbers. It's not really away from the threat here. Sloppy play from Real Madrid. 
flag has gone up for offside tight. Well, Alan, here's the substitution now. Wonderful to watch. He took those two goals superbly well. Now Laporte. Modric. In towards Hazard. Hazard. Here's the chance to get in the cross. A real opening for him. Super goalkeeping. Well, he certainly wasn't basking in the glory of the first save. The game continued. Uh, you know what goalkeepers are like. He's probably disappointed it was such a simple second save. Uh, but he certainly showed us what he's got a few moments earlier. Yeah, no wonder his teammates are thanking him because they didn't give him much help there, actually. Reporting in from the Estadio de la Ceramica is Alan McAnally with a goal to tell us about Alan. It's a second goal for Villarreal. It's been scored by Paco Alcazar. He was in the right place at the right time to guide the ball home. 77 minutes played, 2-0. That's Alan McAnally keeping us bang up to date. Intercepted well. That's the way to win the ball back. And he's got the ball back for his team with that tackle. Five more minutes here. And that will be a free kick. We are going to see a substitution now. Spotted that well and intercepted. Benzema. Good vision here. Now he wants to take them on. Azar. It's offside. That's what the assistant has said. Well, when he looks back on that, I think he might be a bit disappointed because the striker seemed to time his run really well. actually quite often last 10 or 15 you you ease off but this team didn't 